I mean, the bottom line is when we talk about the line of attack, that's why I always talk about the shoulder plane of the fighters and the foundation is that he, he is off that line of attack anyway. See, right here, you're in the line of attack. Over there, you're, see, do it again. Here's the line of attack. Now drop, that's it. Now that's a strong stance. See, heel toe, left shoulder a little higher than the right shoulder. He's out of the line of attack. The line of attack is here. When he's straight up or he squares up, he's there. When he points his shoulder more and stays a little bit more sideways, half a man, that's what happens. Do a squared up and straight up, he's there. Now go sideways and that's it. Now look at that. Look how much distance. Do it again. He's there. Now go. See that? If you don't have a strong foundation and you're not in a good position, you're going to have to dip a little bit further. You've got to know where your head's at. So in other words, his head is outside the position of my, of my left shoulder. So now he could just take that hand and go. Boom. <clears throat> If he knows where he's, if he's not, not if, let's say he's over even has this angle, he's going to have to dip over to get himself outside of it and do it. And make sure your, your head is outside of them shoulders where you're not there for the, you're not there for the counterpunch. Because like, if he's here and he just tries to reach out for my arm, I could catch him. Mm -hmm. Just a short hook on the inside, uppercut, whatever. Okay. But if he's where he needs to be, now he's there, that's it. Okay.